So today we're gonna detangle this giant dog. <laughs> when they say a big dog is coming, I say yes, please, because I love big dog. Finally, we have a big dog. So round two. And then we fall in love immediately. Okay, so I think we're done. We spent like an hour. We wait the same. Amazing. <laughs> we wait the same, 75 kilo. Are we brushing you like a horse? Yeah. The only thing that I cannot do with her is leaping. She's think too much. So today we're gonna detangle this giant dog. <laughs> oh my god, it's a lot of hair coming out. This is gonna take really long. I got a text about a donkey, like, you know, baby donkey, papaya. They wanted to bring here a donkey, a baby donkey, seven months old. Oh, I mean, we already know the story about papaya, like it's in another video. And when everything is done, they just tell me, can you, Anna, can I also bring a big dog? And I was like, okay, how big? And she was like, a Terranova. It's like Newfoundland in English. When they say a big dog is coming, I say, yes, please, <laughs> because I love big dog. Finally, we have a big dog. We just went to Gran Canaria this weekend for a festival and we picked her up. We met her and we fall in love immediately. She just fell in love with him. Like she came, she saw him, it's like, okay, you're my new owner, I love you. And that's it. And every time I, she can be walking with someone, she sees him, with like that. Look at them. Yay. <laughs> the problem of her is that um, the person before, they love her, absolutely. We saw how they were with her and they love it. The point is that uh, most of the time is our knowledge that is uh, uh, incorrect. So she was like in the sun all day long uh, with not so much space for, uh, for movement. So like the first days uh, here was that was the more problematic. She was like walking, <laughs> fell off on the floor, walking. Boo. No, not really fell off, but like sitting uh, like exhausted. That's just one side. We still have to do the belly and the other side. And I've still, I'm still not finished with this because it's really, really tangled. And you just, like the hair is still coming up like that. You don't even have to pull. It's just like coming out, coming out. She changed completely the place where she lives, she completely changed the environment, like now she's always surrounded by person, by dogs. Like she was uh, uh, used to be the only dog, now we have 21 dogs, so much more fun for her. And honestly, every time that she's out, every person that passes by stop a couple of minutes to cuddle her because it's something that you want to just do it. You want to just cuddle this big face, cuddle, and, and everybody just... Stop and cuddle her, and she love it. And she love too much. Every time that you stop cuddling, she try. And if you walk and go away, she start to even cry to you. So round two, is this gonna be the last one? Or are we gonna need like three more? We'll see. Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, all the dust coming off. Yeah, look at that. I know that is, uh, is not the kind of dog that should uh, stay here in Canaria because like look at her, is more a lion than a dog. In fact, is our black lion. <laughs> I got the black lion. Luckily here we have always a breeze, so it's never really hot. It's always also like in a shade. And if not, uh, if she's in the sun, you saw where she tried to go, in the horse path. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I think we're done. We spent like an hour. This was the third row. I had to take her for breaks two times. She had dreads, like dreadlocks, really big. And you can see that her hair is now really black and before it was, well, you can still hear a little bit because she still has some hair coming out, but it's impossible to take it out. But this color, it was all over here. And now you can see that she's fully black, which is good. So we did a good job, Aika. The only thing that we want is uh, like an improver. And, uh, and of course, now we wanna like try to uh, help her to like get fitter, even if uh, she's a bit older. She's uh, seven years old and for her breed is quite old. But if you look at her in her face, in her eyes, you can see that uh, she doesn't feel old. She feel a puppy, she wanna play, she wanna walk a lot. We weigh the same. Amazing! <laughs> we weigh the same, 75 kilo. Dog like her should move uh, really a lot during the day. Ah. The problem that she has at the moment is uh, that have, uh, she has quite a lot of uh, fat roll. <laughs> uh, 
So we're gonna try to convert that fat in muscle. Uh, like this we can run, because until now we walk a lot, but we never run. Yeah, we, never wanna, we wanna arrive to the point that she can at least not long side, longer way run, but at least a little run. Like we wanna try to make her feel like as a dog not as a person, because it seems that she grew up in a house only with person. Uh, she's lovely with every other animals, but she didn't have really contact in the previously years. So now in, uh, in the time that she's gonna stay with us, she's gonna enjoy and try to fill up all, all her time with excitement <clears throat> and improvement. Look at her, I mean, look how shiny her hair is. And now we're gonna give her a bath, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, and put some conditioner on, so we can detangle a little bit more. So, let's go! <gasps> Water! You're gonna be so fluffy when we're done. Like, so fluffy. Are we brushing you like a horse? Yeah. It's not that much hair coming out, which is good. Right, maybe. That means we already did a good job. So. It's Friday, so five days with us. Now, like every time that I go out, uh, she wanna come out with me, uh, really like uh, full of energy. And on this, we can see already a, a improvement. Then you can see that it's uh, totally wet after your, the bath that uh, Anna gave it this morning, also with your help. <laughs> and she is uh, more beautiful than ever. Yeah. The only thing that I cannot do with her is sleeping. She stinks too much. You know, vamos. Ana? Nos vamos, señorita. Ala. Adiós.